painting was painted by Murillo at the end of his career, around 1670s. This is one of his works that he did, you know, when he was at the height of his power. He was a mature artist. It's very important that the DIA collaborates with different institutions in the different counties and also across the state. The DIA is a great resource for Michigan. We have a great collection, great equipment, wonderful staff with great expertise in art history. This is a wonderful resource for everybody, so collaborating with universities and other cultural institutions and community colleges is a way of sharing our knowledge and enriching the state. It made sense for Meadowbrook Hall to invite students to be part of this important conservation process. Every year we have internships for students to work at the curatorial and archival departments. We have them come in for research for private class projects. My name is Holly Lustig and I'm a student here at Oakland University. The internship here at Meadowbrook is the best way to get a further application of what I'm actually studying. I do so much as it is with Oakland University, they've allowed me to get really in depth in my studies, but the actual application of what I am studying is being put to use here at Meadowbrook. Our history in itself is a very interdisciplinary milieu, so to speak, and it involves not only art and artifact, but artists, history, uh, even psychology, uh, sometimes architecture. Well, what's interesting about this project is that it brought together uh, not only art history students, but history students, anthropology students, and even chemistry students. John the Baptist was the last prophet. As the Old Testament says, as the last prophet, he was the one in charge of identifying who the Messiah was. He's telling you that the sacrificed lamb is, is Jesus. All this complex explanation was very evident for people in the 17th century. You'll see that there's some uh, weird things in the painting right now. There is, it, this area is wider than this area. What we are doing are, these are cleaning tests. These are things that Alfred Ackerman is doing to start to conserve the painting. Conservation is important because most of the material that we're dealing with, particularly in paintings, it's organic. So it is going to deteriorate with oxygen, with light. From time to time, conservation is required to prolong the life of the artwork for future generations. Even a 400-year-old painting they're still moving, they're still breathing. The canvas or wood, that's the, the material that still is gonna to react to environmental conditions. The English lined a lot of their paintings because when things came out of Italy or Spain and moved up into a different kind of climate, things started to happen to canvases and paint films. As I'm doing some preliminary testing, I'm trying to get a sense of what's on the surface because we determined that we need to clean the painting. It's estimated that the last time this went through a treatment was in the 60s, so the varnish had discolored, repaint had discolored. The initial part of the treatment involved taking off the varnish, then the repaint, which is usually below the layers of varnish, that was then removed. Being involved in this project really showed me how extensive conservation is. When you read it in a textbook or when you hear about it, it doesn't seem like it's going to be as large of a project as it is. When, when you go to the doctor, why do you do a, you, you need to get an x-ray done? What do you see in the x-ray? What has been done before or what has happened? It, exactly. What, what the x-ray is telling you is what you can see underneath the paint. My name is Kathy Selvius DeRue. I'm the research scientist at the Detroit Institute of Arts. As, as a scientist, I have a working knowledge of what would be expected in a 17th century painting. But it's always interesting. It's always, every painting is a new puzzle. It's always interesting to go in, do the analysis, learn something about how the artist created the painting in question. 
The artist at the beginning thought he wanted to place the foot there. And then he changed his mind. That's called pentimento in Italian. It's a very important piece of information because if this were a copy, the copies would have not known that the artist placed the foot lower in the original idea. That's going to be important in the final in painting on this that, that we do. Do we cover that back up or do we let it stand out?